So here's a tool I often get asked about. It's a scale divider. I'm going to show you what it's for and how it can help you with your drawing. This ingenious tool is really handy for keeping a ratio. So if you're wanting to enlarge something or decrease the size of something, your subject that you're drawing, this little tool can help you make sure you keep everything the same ratio. How it works is really simple. We've got a pivot point here which we can adjust and we can place this wherever we like up and down our slide here. The further it is to the centre, the smaller the ratio difference will be. And the further it is to the pointy end, the bigger difference between each end. It's ideal if you're working from a photograph, for instance. I know a lot of people like to take a photograph and work from that to get it onto the paper. Um, as a simple, a really simple demonstration, let's just draw something really simple. Let's say we've got a square and I'm going to put for instance um, a triangle right so if we wanted to accurately measure this square and place it or enlarge it to fit the paper we were working on we just take our scale divider we take the shorter end and we measure the length of the top edge of the square then all I'm going to do is flip that over and this is our new measurement. So I'm going to place that down. That is the measurement of the top of our square. OK, I've marked that on the paper. We'll go back to the small measurement and then we'll just bring that in till we measure the shorter edge of the... Of the I'm saying square, it's a rectangle. OK, the shorter edge of the rectangle We'll swap that over and then we've got the new size of that edge. I know I didn't do a particularly good job at keeping things square, so let's measure it and see what happens. We'll go in there and then the final one, same again. Well, that's actually what I'm going to do now. Let's just join up those dots. There we go. It's even got the wonky line, see? Look how accurate we are. OK, so then I can look into this. OK, if I want to place that triangle, let's have a look. I know it's going to be a certain distance from the edge. So first of all, I'm going to measure that. So from my edge, this edge here, I know that it's that far away. So I'm just going to mark on the bottom there. That's the distance, how far away it is. I'm going to measure how far away it is from the bottom. Take that measurement and go up from the mark I've already placed down. And that's going to give us the starting point for our triangle. OK, now we know that. We just work around the same thing again. We'll measure those edges of that triangle. Pop them on. If I wanted to be really accurate, I could measure the distance between the wall of the rectangle and the triangle at all points. But for the sake of speed and just showing you how this works, I'm just going to quickly pop the last point of the triangle on. I'm going to go for a, something like that. And then we'll just... There we go. It's just transferring one set of objects onto your finished drawing area and keeping everything to the same ratio. It's so simple to use and really, really handy.